Hi, I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Here's a look at your NBC3 forecast and looking ahead today. It's going to get increasingly more humid so that by this afternoon, you're going to definitely really notice that increase in humidity. The easiest way I can describe today is this. At any point during the day, you pick a time, I don't care, any time you want, there is about an equal chance of a shower or thunderstorm. Now, there are parts of the day where there's a little less of a chance. My point is, while I can't rule out a shower or thunderstorm at any point, it's certainly not, underlying, bold, italicized, not going to be raining all the time today. There should be a passing shower too this morning, maybe one more by lunch hour. I think parts of the afternoon will be dry, and then as we finish the afternoon and go into tonight, there will be an increasing risk of showers and storms again. If we see a lot of sun, and I sure hope we don't this afternoon, then the threat that thunderstorms to finish this afternoon and this evening could be strong. So that's something we'll watch for you. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Pete Weatherbeat and my meteorologist Peter Hall page because when there are watches and warnings, I send out an alert that links you to something that you then press that link and you'll see exactly who's got the warnings. Well, we just talked about the higher humidity developing this afternoon. It then remains high right through Thursday morning. Now, I've just mentioned that there's a good chance that we get some on and off passing showers and a thunderstorm today. At this point, it look, it's looking wetter on Wednesday, so we actually could use a good dose of rain, and it's certainly looking more likely now that we will get some wetter weather on Wednesday. It still looks drier for Friday into most of this weekend with summery warmth. So let's reverse course and go back to what we're talking about today. Passing shower, thunderstorm this morning, a break. Another passing shower, thunderstorm midday, a break. Some sun this afternoon, and then by 5 o'clock, we could see a new round of thunderstorms that get strong. And then on and off showers and storms tonight, muggy, foggy, low near 70. It's not exactly the widest band of rain you'd ever seen, right? I mean, that's not that wide. It's about as wide as Lake Ontario or a little wider than that. But the thing is, it looks now, yesterday I thought this stuff would be to our east and south. Now it's looking like it's going to be right over us Wednesday, which is why I think showers and thunder showers look likely and why I'm only going for highs in the 70s because oh, it's tough to get very warm when there's no sunshine. So that's what I've got, I've got in the forecast. Leftover rain Wednesday night. Then Thursday, it's a slow start with a leftover shower or two and a lot of cloud cover and fog. Total sunshine today about 25%. Now that doesn't seem like that much, but if you realize that we have over 15 hours of daylight, if we do get 25% sun, well, that would convert to about three and a half hours worth of sun, which I hope we don't get because that amount of sunshine this afternoon could spell trouble for thunderstorms. The amount of sun is limited tomorrow and only 40% sunshine on Thursday. The precipitation probability is rather high that we get at least a passing shower thunderstorm today and some rain and thunder tomorrow. Well, we got the Jamesville Balloon Fest and other things going on this weekend, right? So at this point, Friday, Saturday look dry, summery. Sunday, there's a chance for late day thunder but most of Sunday looking warm and dry as well. Local temperatures. We should mainly be between 80 and 87 for most of central New York today. <coughs> Excuse me. That's a good average for most of the Northeast as well, by the way. Nationwide numbers, hottest weather makes sense in the desert Southwest. Here's the bigger picture. I, by the way, the thing about Wednesday, it's this narrow band of rain right here. We'll see what happens with this. If this changes its location, maybe Wednesday is different, but that's the way it looks right now. I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Make it a great day.